Shemai and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets which may be affecting it. The price is at $7,784.3, set a high of $7,873.5 and a low of $7,757. Price has pretty much done what we thought it was going to do yesterday. It's um, continued to go sideways. It hasn't dropped any more. There's plenty of upward momentum, even though there's been some panic selling. Um, it did break that sort of natural arc upward. Uh, which a lot of analysts thought was going to continue. So I think that's probably where some of the panic selling comes from. So you had one big whale dump his coins, and then a bunch of followers follow that. Um, um, but the very fact that it hasn't gone down further would say to me that there's plenty of upward momentum. Even if we did go down further, there's there's resistance along the way. You know, there's 7,300, 7,000. There's like 5,300, and then there's um, 4,000 as well. So uh, yeah, plenty of resistance on the way down. Not, no, no, no time to panic, really. Um, uh, if we take a, if we kind of zoom out and then we'll have a look at on a longer term, uh, it'd be good to compare it to the last bull market. It, it does kind of look like we're in this kind of range. So we, we, we've clearly broken out of this trough from early 2019, uh, which, which was the, the, the bottom of the bear market, I think. So obviously this is not investment advice. It's just uh, a little look at the, the charts. Let's have a look at the news feed, shall we? See what's going on in the news feed on TradingView. Ethereum startups team to offer banking grade wallet security. Okay. Uh, Ledger adds Binance Chain support for latest hardware wallet Nano Ledger. Watch out for 5,400. Bitcoin price important pullback areas for the long, longer term. Yes, yeah, so there are some people who are prepared for it to pull back. Uh, I don't think we need to be that prepared. I think it's um, plenty of upward momentum. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good fundamental uh, and and FOMO news out there at the moment. So that, that alone will, will, will continue to push the price. Um, cryptocurrency exchange plan to perform maintenance on the 6th of June. Let's have a look to see if, well that's today isn't it? So we'll see if that has any impact on Bitcoin's price because then obviously people aren't going to be able to trade all the shit coins. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if that impacts the price. We'll look at that tomorrow. Um, uh, Ethereum, Ethereum sideways, copying Bitcoin, it's at $244.5, it's had a high of 247.9 and a low of $242.4, um, yep, going sideways, copying Bitcoin, not much to see there, Litecoin, Litecoin is still in its channel, at the bottom of its channel now, uh, so Litecoin technically, it would predict that if it stayed, I mean, this, this channel has been going for the past six months so we can we can make the assumption that it's going to continue um and if it does probably and then if it's going to continue then it's probably going to bounce off from where it is and go up a bit so it'd be interesting to see if that's a predictor of the the bitcoin price um right so that's a, a litecoin's 104 dollars it's had a high of 105.7 and a low of 102.9 um and it's not up really much at all uh monero is pretty much exactly the same flat lined $84.9. You could argue that Monero's got something of a symmetrical triangle built on the downside, which would look like the Monero is going to go down uh, on the shorter term, but its price is completely and utterly dependent upon what Bitcoin wants to do. So we can even have a little look here. So yeah, so here we go. There's, there's Monero, there's Bitcoin, there's Monero, there's Bitcoin. So it's like a f just a fuzzy version of Bitcoin. Um, some people may be able to see if it overextends or, you know, maybe make a few bucks off that. But I, I would obviously always advise don't trade this stuff. Buy Bitcoin, hold Bitcoin for five years. You'll probably make money. If you try, try and trade, you'll probably lose money statistically. Gold. Let's have a little look at gold, shall we? So um, gold is, uh, is, is still up. So it's $1,340. On the head, it's had a high of 1,340, oh, there we are, 0.5, and a low of $1,331. So it's still looking very bullish. Uh, we've broken the, the, the highs on the this, this three month. Um, we're tapping against the highs on the six month. And then uh, if we go back, you know, yearly, then we're, we're hitting that important price point, which was first formed in what, 2014? Um, and we haven't been able to break through. Uh, and compared to all the other bull runs which have happened, uh, maybe this is comparable to the one at the beginning of 2018. But to me, it looks like it's got enough bullish momentum to maybe have a go at, at, at smashing that 1,380 uh, uh, or 1,400 price target. 
So we'll, we'll see how that happened. What was what, what's going to happen with that? So I mean, the gold's price is going up uh, off. I think off the back of the, the the trade war stuff which is going on between uh, Mexico and um, uh, the US, and then between China and the US. So, um, but then on the reverse of that, the S and P five hundred is also going up because they've got the uh, they're crossing their fingers and they hope there's going to be a Fed rate cut and banks are going to be able to lend money to each other cheaper. And then also you've potentially after post Brexit, you've got this whole market opening up in the UK for selling medicine to the to the NHS. So uh, yeah, the the S and P five hundred is also up. So gold and the S and P five hundred are seem to be correlated. Um, and they're both going up at the same time. Uh, so, yeah. So I can see Bitcoin's allure now as a non-correlated asset. Let's have a little look at the Bitcoin Reddit, shall we? So the Lightning Hack Day video at the top there. Uh, we have just gone mainstream. The official Scrabble Players Dictionary have added Bitcoin. Woohoo! As well as other cool uh, millennial words such as emoji and facepalm. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Facebook is charging $10 million to mine their coin and calls itself a privilege, lol. So we've got an article on that in a moment. Nine ways to lose your cryptocurrency. Ledger Ops have produced this nice infographic, not infographic, this nice sheet here, poster thing to remind people of things they shouldn't do uh, if, they, if they want to keep their Bitcoin, such as you know losing your private key, uh, storing critical information on encrypted, keeping your crypto on exchange. Using weak passwords, not using two-factor authentication, falling victim to phishing scams, handing over your API keys, downloading on no software, installing on no browser plugins. This is just general good computer security for most of this, uh, which which again is makes sense because obviously Bitcoin is the the currency of the internet. Um, so I'm going to print that out, and then when I do like Blitz tutorials or when uh, if someone is asking me about how to buy Bitcoin and secure Bitcoin, this is I'm going to make sure that they fully understand these nine points because this is it's a nice important sheet here we, we should probably all print one of these out and stick it on our walls just to remind ourselves as well gold is trading at record highs in australia one by one every currency is being destroyed by central banks blah 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 um there's a thing on milton friedman here the guy I hate to love um blah 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 yeah so yeah some interesting stuff on the bitcoin reddit i wouldn't say it's bullish or bearish it's you know in the middle um, let's have a look at some news articles. Got plenty of news articles. Lots of interesting news going on at the moment. Uh, Bitcoin millionaire on the run after a second cryptocurrency scam. So this is a guy in India, quote unquote, a businessman in India, who's made an absolute fortune from a cryptocurrency scam, and he's on the run for the second time. Uh, so this is just a reminder that these villains in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It's not like traditional environments where if someone commits bad and wrong, then they they disappear into obscurity. No one ever trusts them again. These guys just come back on the scene again and again and again. It's a bit like robbing banks in the 1920s in the US or something. There's this, it's just there's just so much low hanging fruit, you know, which can be easily plucked, um, and then there doesn't seem to be real repercussions for a lot of the the you know the fraud which goes on. So they they just they just keep returning to the space. Uh, hopefully that will lessen over time, but yeah, I don't imagine that's going to happen anytime soon. So. Bitcoin exchange hodl hodl decentralized exchange launches lightning network support absolutely amazing fantastic and congratulations hodl hodl um, Really interesting stuff. So the announcement claims everyone is able to buy bitcoins and receive them directly into their lightning wallets and sell bitcoins directly from their lightning wallet so I think one of the reasons I'm so excited about this is to have confirmed Bitcoin transactions uh, happening from your wallet so you know when you, if you're if you're trading on something like Hoddle Hoddle and you, you you're waiting for uh, transactions to get confirmed into blocks, it, it takes a while and it adds a little bit of anxiety and tension into a trade. Whereas if it's instantaneous and it's just bang, it's in your wallet, it's great. And like if maybe if I want to you know, top up my Lightning wallet, um, uh, if I'm if I'm if I'm out and about, uh, I could go on Hoddle Hoddle and I could just buy a little bit of Bitcoin, top up my Lightning wallet. It's great. It's fantastic. So I'm really excited about that. Well done to them. Hopefully, other, hopefully others will follow. New malware campaigns spread Trojans through crypto clone trading website. So, um, blah, 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 blah. There's a virus which is imitating Crypto Hopper, a website where users can program tools to perform automatic cryptocurrency trading. Uh, and it's cloned the website. So you go on their website. I suppose it's cloned it and then it's dropping it in Reddit threads or YouTube videos or whatever. You go to their website. And then it sends you an EXE 
uh, even has like the crypto hop web uh, logo on the exe you install the exe and then it installs a virus a trojan which just sits there listens to your clipboard waits for a public key bitcoin public key to go in your clipboard which means you've copied and pasted a public key in there which means you're probably going to send bitcoin to somebody it replaces the public key you put in your clipboard with their public key so then when you copy paste out of your clipboard into um oh, sorry when you paste you know into your uh wherever you're sending your bitcoins to, you end up sending your bitcoins to them. So far it's netted them 33 bitcoins, so they're doing pretty well off it, it's pretty profitable. I imagine they're gonna continue. There is something to take away from this, it is a .exe, so this wouldn't be a problem for us Linux users. Um, so I, I, I urge everyone to switch to Linux, uh, start small, start on a VM, uh, you know, virtual box um, uh, type thing. Um, and then and then and then work your way up. Do your research as well if you're going to buy a laptop or something to install Linux on. If you do, if you if you Google it, you'll be able to find like you know like what's the best laptop to install Ubuntu on, what's the best laptop to install like Arch on. Um, uh, then th there's plenty of resources, and then just go buy the laptop people suggest. It, it makes life a hell of a lot easier. Um, so there's my Linux shilling or oh, former. MT Gox CEO Mark Compellis to serve as CTO for new Japanese blockchain venture. Here we go, another villain's back. So it sucks as well because I always kind of like, I don't know why, but I stick up for Mark Compellis. That's because he was just like a young idiot, you know, didn't know what he was doing, completely incompetent, wasted a hell of a lot of people's money, caused a lot of heartbreak, which he's, you know, had to hopefully deal with, and then spent most of his young career in this legal process, you know, in a foreign land. So I, I, I felt sorry for the guy. I was like, you know, he's done a lot of wrong. He's done a lot of harm. But, you know, the poor guy, he's, he's had a hard time of it. He's not, I mean, Christ, he's probably not as had a hard time of it as some of the, the people whose money he's lost. So, uh, but, you know, he's, he's had a fairly, hopefully had a fairly negative experience. Anyway, it seems that his suspe his, he's had a suspended sentence in Japan, um, which is, and he's now released a book. Uh, which I, I don't think is mentioned in here, but it's a, a Jap book in Japanese, which releasing a book in Japanese where the blurb on the back says that Mark Carpellis is one of the most successful and important cryptocurrency programmers, which is absolutely nonsense. Um, you know, he didn't have the wherewithal to even change the, the, the domain name of MT Gox. <laughs> uh, and it was all running off like PHP heavily, like unsecure. And this is the problem. This is why it got hacked. This is why I lost a hell of a lot of money through, through massive incompetence. So, yeah, so as with that Indian cryptocurrency scammer, um, is, uh, you, these bad guys, these, these idiots, these people, you can't get rid of them. They just keep coming back. So uh, I suppose educate people to, to be very wary of anything he produces. So in here, he's quotes saying that he loves Japan um, and he wants to be part of you know, blockchains, uh, uh, having a positive impact on, on, on Japan. I, I would say that it's, it's time to just walk away, hang your head in shame, say sorry, Christ, produce, like, get involved producing a film warning other people of, 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 of you know, the, the, the massive mistakes you made, like, um, and how you've had this negative impact on other people's. Write a book about that, and people would buy that book. I would buy a book, like an honest book, about all the incompetence which happened at NT Gox and, you know, how he's a young guy, how he made mistakes. A bit of humility would be nice, uh, but we don't seem to be seeing any of that, so that is a real shame. Facebook. Uh, Facebook set to reveal low cryptocurrency in june this is pretty bullish i mean like they've obviously the news got out on global coin which is their their crypto cryptocurrency um they want to they want to make um and i think that was kind of a leak uh, the idea was to launch in 2020 but they've pulled that forward it seems to um uh, uh to, to sort of this year um, and the details of it are going to be, be released this month they're inviting people to come and if they you know they're invited it costs 10 million dollars but they're inviting people to spend 10 million dollars which will give them the right to run a node so this is kind of like a federated cryptocurrency which could work um but i think the very fact that they feels like they kind of rush things trying to rush things trying to bring things forward would mean that it's probably not going to work um and then ultimately this is a proprietary version of a non-proprietary concept of, of bitcoin so uh, if people do start using this cryptocurrency then it people will then inevitably start drifting towards bitcoin so it's an on-ramp for bitcoin it's also a massive bounty for the world's black hats so all those hackers out there right now are cracking their knuckles and they can't wait to get ready trying to trying to attack this bad boy and i'm sure they'll be successful and there'll be some hacks sadly and people will lose money so yeah tread softly bitcoin uh, facebook <laughs> you tread on my dreams um let's have a look at the next uh, article here right so we got 
gold is superior to Bitcoin, say people who sell gold. So uh, it seems like the gold bugs and the gold people are upset by Grayscale's drop gold advertising campaign, that excellent advert they did. And goldmoney.com has produced um, some graphics on uh, debunking uh, some of Bitcoin's claims. So Bitcoin has no weight. False. Uh, one Bitcoin unit. I'm not sure what a Bitcoin unit is. Uh, uh, it, it requires at least 1.6, 1.7 kilograms worth of hardware, which you all know could be completely false. Um, it's, 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 if, 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 I mean, it's, if this is current sort of mining hardware or, or I don't know how, how they calculate this figure, that would obviously adjust on how many people would be mining Bitcoin. So it's complete, complete nonsense. Um, uh, but it is interesting and, and, and exciting that gold feels or the gold scene feels like it needs to defend itself against this 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 thing called Bitcoin. Uh, so, yeah, good stuff. Um, so another article here, every game in the South Korean startup makes its own blockchain. I like this because I think anyone who, um, I don't know, particularly from the younger generation or maybe you know, people as old as myself, like you, um, we've had experience with digital scarcity in games. So I remember playing Ultra Online, uh, getting a nightmare horse, working really hard to get it, being like one of the only players in the whole game which had this thing, absolutely awesome. And then suddenly they made it really easy to get a Nightmare Horse and everyone had one. Uh, and I remember turning my back on the whole game, just feeling so annoyed that that digitally scarce thing which I'd earned um, was no longer worth, was, was now worthless and there was no guarantee that that thing was gonna to continue to be scarce. Other people have had similar experiences in World Warcraft, etc. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's, it's interesting that this uh, startup um, is just incorporating blockchains into their into their games. I imagine this is going to be a real like uh, on ramp. So if a big popular game like Fortnite starts having having some sort of trading platform where people can trade guns or weapons or I don't know whatever else in game items for uh, Bitcoin on Lightning, for example, then uh, that it's going to really boost adoption. All these kids are really going to get into it. And um, uh, there was some talk for a while where I think Fortnite were accepting Monero, but the trial wasn't really didn't really work successfully, uh, but if they do Bitcoin or Lightning um, or, or a game like that, uh, and it's maybe worked into the narrative of the game, that'd be cool. And then all these kids would be asking their parents because they want to buy some Bitcoin. All these, all the I mean, it's saying that games are kind of multi generational now, so everyone's going to be buying Bitcoin. Uh, so the virus spreads. Uh, another uh, output for the virus spreading is the independent. It seems, which is a uh, you know a, 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 a middle class, upper class uh, broadsheet here in the UK. Uh, well respected for their um, for their reporting, you know that as for, as, a, as a, a legacy newspaper goes, it's actually a pretty good one. Um, so nice big article. Bitcoin price analysis predict cryptocurrency will reach record high in six months despite recent crash. So Oliver Isaacs, um, uh, a blockchain Bitcoin uh, analysis, says that Bitcoin that Bitcoin is going to hit twenty five k by the end of. Uh, by the beginning of 2020, by the end of 2019, I think it's probably going to hit higher than that. Uh, but it seems that The Independent have picked up on this article um, and then have written an article on it. So we've got some, you know, some good middle class Bitcoin shilling going on today. We've got the, the, the Scrabble um, and now we've got the, the Independent as well. So it's coming from all angles on those on, on, um, on those, those guys with fairly big bags. You might want to diversify their portfolio. Yeah, into something like Bitcoin, you know, they'll phone, find, they'll phone their, um, their asset manager, uh, their financial advisor, and they'll say, yeah, just buy me a little bit of Bitcoin. I've been hearing good things about it recently. So, so yeah, so the virus continues to spread through games, through the independent, through Scrabble. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, so uh, have a fantastic Thursday, and I shall see you tomorrow.